I'm Kaysen, Forrest Kaysen. Thomas, did you see Nick here? I, 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 no. I, uh, when I got here, he was already like this. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back. She's trying to speak. No! It couldn't be! Nick? Oh, please, no! You got us good this time, Zach. Zach, let's get back to the hotel. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Agent Morgan. York. Do you have a moment? What is it, George? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Now that sounds like a good idea. Zack, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. George, that scar on your cheek. Where did you get it? This? Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. It was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. And it didn't stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Tree punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. 
the strong eat the weak. But now you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. York. I've been an arrogant fool, haven't I? And if it weren't for me, both Becky and Diane would still be alive. I could have saved them both. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. I invited you to this bar for a drink. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber, and I wanted you to listen. And to tell you, well, you must already hate me for causing all these problems and not following your orders. York, I'm sorry. I'll follow your orders from now on. You'll have my total cooperation. George, you've been as cooperative as you can be. You even invited an FBI guy to a bar for drinks. You've done a good job protecting this town. And the folks here respect you for that. Nobody can blame you for anything. Thanks. I do feel a little better. Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. Diane, too. We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. Nick didn't do it. Ah, I know. Carol, you took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. I'm busy, gotta go.
Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. Zack. Emily is already a goddess of the forest. Let's forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? York? Why is she here? I just thought the more the merrier. You know, to relax and get loose. Is this a problem? No, of course not. Pardon me, Emily, but I'm pooped. I think I'll just call it a night. George, I just got here and you're walking out on me? I was hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. I'm afraid I've already had enough. And I already had a good man-to-man -man with York. So I'll see you guys. I think George likes you. But he's avoiding you all at the same time. <laughs> How astute. There's a reason? Nothing worth going into. It's a thing of the past. <laughs> okay. He did ask me out when I first came to town. I was still in high school. But I never really considered him my type. And there's the age gap thing, too. I respect him, of course. Or I wouldn't have taken this job otherwise. So, did you move to this town alone? Of course not. I came with my parents. Tell me about them, then. Sure, why not? My dad dealt in stocks in New York. He was hardly at home when I was a kid, always working. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. Which is no different now, really. I, I don't see much of him. My mother? Totally different story. A wonderful person that I still respect. She was always kind and understanding. Not only that, but she would always help me find my way. She could be fierce, too, scolding me if I took a wrong step. We had our battles, sure, but... All in all, she was a wonderful mother. Past tense? Yeah, she's gone now. Cancer, just before I graduated high school. She gave this to me just before she died. I take it with me wherever I go. It's what I treasure most. I'm sure she's very proud of you. <laughs> 